Hey everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. What in the world? How are you guys? I have missed you so much. This is my first time filming since way before the wedding. Let me turn that volume off. Um, oh my gosh, I'm filming it in my new house. I'm married. Um, this is my new like filming kind of setup. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see kind of a tour of this. There's all kinds of other things in the background that you cannot see. But so let me know if you're interested in kind of a video about this or if you want to like house tour videos or like that kind of stuff. Like I don't know if that's even interesting to you. But if you want to see it, let me know. I obviously will do my Christmas tour video. Again, I always do that. But today's video is all about palettes that I think are worth, I just spit on myself, <laughs> palettes that I think are worth checking out for the holidays. Now, before I start that, I do want to tell you about the Beautylish gift card sale. This is my favorite sale of the year. I actually like it better than the VIB Rouge BI sale that Sephora has because for every $100 you spend, it doesn't matter what your status is, every $100 that you spend on Beautylish between November 1st and I think the 4th, maybe the 5th, I can't remember what day it ends, uh, you get $20 back. So it's a $20 savings, but you get it back in the form of a gift card, which you can give away as a gift, you can give away as a stocking stuffer, or you can use on yourself. All options are acceptable. Um, and if you guys are, if you remember the way they've done Beautylish Lucky Bags in the past is that in order to qualify to get the extra large Lucky Bag, you have to have spent $1,000 on Beautylish for the year. That's the threshold. So if you are trying to get that extra large Lucky Bag and you haven't met that threshold um, or you're close, the gift card sale is a great way to do that so that you can get that extra large bag. Now, I don't have the information on the lucky bag yet, but you know this is the first place to find any 2019 Beautylish lucky bag info. So I am really obviously excited about that. I always look for that. So I have a bunch of palettes that I want to talk to you about for holiday. And then if you are going to do the Beautylish um, gift card sale, I have a couple things that I've never talked about that I do want to point out to you. One is the new brand. This is the BDL Satin Veil Primer. And this is, let's see if this, I don't even know if that's focusing on here, but this is new from Korea. And there's three primers. There's the Satin Veil Primer, there's the Lumi Lair Primer, and then there is the Lumi Limer, Lu, Lumi Limer, Lumi Lair Primer Fresh. And I will tell you, and I'll link it so that you can see it, but I have reviewed this on the Beautylish site. And I even posted a picture from my wedding that has not been posted anywhere else on social media. So if you're following along on the wedding or if you watched it live on Instagram or you're loving those wedding pictures like I am, there is a new one that you haven't seen. So I will post the link so you can read that um, and just see that little picture. It's like a little um, hidden cookie in a Netflix show or something like that. Not really, but you know what I mean. Um, the other thing that I would really say is worth it, worth splurging on, this is the Sonia G Sculpt One brush. This is my favorite contour brush, my favorite sculpting brush. And I know you're thinking that is like massive. How are you sculpting your face with that? But it applies the product and blends it so perfectly so that you you have such a nice natural sculpt all the time. Um, I did use this brush for sculpting my face for my wedding and actually this is the primer I wore on my wedding day. Uh, a couple other things that I think are worth checking out, worth getting for the gift card sale. This is the It Cosmetics um, Brow Power Super Skinny Brow Pencil. They are discontinuing these. I know that for a fact, which sucks, but they are still available on Beautylish. And then I want to just um, show you because these are not palettes, so I won't be talking about them. These are the new Natasha Denona top coats. This is metallic bronze, and this is what I, my bangs are so long today, but this is what's on my eye today. It's actually the only eye product I'm wearing besides mascara. I just have this, I used my finger, smushed it all over my lid, blended it into the crease with my finger, took a little brush, pencil brush, the Wayne Goss, um, what is this one? The Wayne Goss 5 brush, this little BB brush and drug it along my lower lash line for um, a really quick smoky bronze. So I love that one here. I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, I think it's so pretty. I can see we're gonna have some like kinks to work out in this new filming space. Like I said, this is the first video I'm filming here. Um, and then this is the metallic black, which is so cool. 
and is the fastest and most interesting smoky eye I have come across in a while. And you can see how like reflective, isn't that so cool? Oh, I love it. So those are all worth checking out for that gift card sale. Now on to why we're here, and I'm going to try to kind of go through this really quickly because YouTube tells me that you guys only watched five minutes and uh, 59 seconds worth of my videos. So, so we're probably already past that time limit and you've clicked out and you're not going to even see what holiday palettes I think are worth the splurge. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4, and I love these. I think these are so pretty. And I just think they're great for travel. This one is, I like better than last year's. I'll have to get last year's out because I can't remember. There was something in it that I was like, oh, I think it was the blush color that I just did not like. I like this one this year a ton. And I have to go find my reading glasses. This video is going to be a disaster without them. <sighs> okay, we're back. I have my reading glasses. We're zoomed in a little bit. As soon as I put these on, I will not be able to see you, but you will be able to see the product a little bit better and I will be able to read what it is so I can tell you what's happening. Okay, another great face palette is the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold palette. I think this is so gorgeous. It has um, champagne pop of gold, rose gold, and gold button. Look, I love the um, gold palette, the gold bar palette anyhow, and this is so cute. It is her really cute, pretty packaging burgundy with rose gold. I love it. By Terry does this amazing holiday palette every year as well. Um, oddly enough, this year the packaging's really cheap. Usually it's nice. I mean, this is beautiful packaging, but it's like cheap plastic. This is the Gem Glow Trio Compact. That's not going to stop me from kind of just being so obsessed with this palette. I think it's so pretty. It's so hard for me to... S I don't want to just keep taking these off and on, but anyway... I think it's really, really pretty. If you want to see swatches of some of these, um, then whatever ones you want to see swatches of, just let me know and I'll do it on my Insta story um, over on Instagram. Now, this is not a palette, but I want to just draw your attention to it because this is the Becca Gold Lava. This is another one of the Skin Perfectors, and I haven't heard anybody talking about this, but it just looks really pretty and cool to me. So, another fun holiday. So, now let's talk eyes. I've done... A pretty wide range of um, like cost in terms of these palettes from like medium to like e explurging because I didn't want to just do um, the Natasha Denona palettes so you'll see some things that I don't typically talk about on here but I will start out with um, the Natasha Denona cranberry palette which has five shades, one shade, the nude shade. This one right here is from a palette from the holiday collection last year. This is her holiday palette. It is limited edition, and I think it is absolutely worth it. It is so beautiful. These shades are amazing, and it has her cream to powder shades in it, which I personally really love and hope we'll start seeing those more. Uh, the gold palette does have some of those cream to powder. Now, I'm sure this is a big shock for you to for, uh, see me talking about an Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette, but like I said, it's holiday collection, and I'm trying to give you a variety of price points, and I did think this palette was interesting enough to uh, get and swatch and show. I thought it was really pretty, so if you want to see, um, like I said, if you want to see swatches of these or if you want to see dedicated videos, I am back to filming, so could do some dedicated videos on some of these if you wanted to see see them or hear my thoughts but I will be testing these all out they all just came yesterday in the biggest beautylish box I'd ever gotten and I was like thought like it was Christmas for me this is the Becca Cosmetics uh, Volcano Gold Eye Palette oh I'm sorry Volcano Goddess Eye Palette and I don't think I have any Becca eyeshadows so this will be my first time trying um, any of the Becca eyeshadows and Weirdly, this looks exactly like the Sephora collection palettes to me, um, just kind of the way it's laid out, but I thought it was an interesting color schematic, and obviously, like, these two bottom layers are kind of like where I like to live in terms of shadow. Those are some of my favorites. Warm, cool, and neutrals in here, um, and pretty packaging, so, and a decent price point for that one as well. And then the two big spenders, the two expensive ones that I think are absolutely worth getting for holiday. This is the gold palette, the Natasha Denona gold palette. 
Um, I will do probably like a dedicated, I usually do dedicated videos on her large palette where I do like a look or just a review. So that is coming on this one. Um, and then the Safari palette I'm going to include in here because it's still available. The Safari palette is limited edition. The gold palette apparently is permanent, but the Safari palette is limited edition as far as we know at this point. And we do know that she does change her mind uh, from time to time like she did with the Sunset palette, but she didn't change her mind about Tropic, and so I have not heard that she's going to change her mind about Safari being limited. It is apparently limited. So uh, if you love all mattes and you like that really beautiful, creamy, soft, super pigmented, easy to blend matte formula, then you'll love this. Not all eyeshadows are created equal, and certainly ones that are created in Italy with the finest quality of ingredients, and these are actually pressed pigments they are gonna be much better than any matte that you've ever tried. So if you do wanna splurge on something and you wanna, um, you know, you actually let's talk about it. So this is $129. So if you buy this for the Beautylish gift card sale, you get $20 back. So you're essentially getting this palette for $100, um, which is kind of nice, especially if you are not a Rouge. Um, I think the Rouge discount is 20%, the VIB is 15% and the BI Beauty Insider is only 10%. So if you're a VIB or a BI um, Sephora Insider, then the Beautylish gift card sale makes more sense for you because you're going to get a bigger savings. So let me know if you have any questions about the gift card sale. Let me know if you have any questions about Lucky Bags. Like I said, I will source that information. I will, I will have that information before anybody else because you know Nils is like my BFF forever. He even came to my wedding. In fact, why don't I insert a picture of me and Nails at my wedding? So thank you guys for watching. Leave me comments down below if you have any. And I am about to film a whole bunch more videos right now. So thanks, you guys. Bye. Happy November.